I'm Andrew Borg, president of Borg Design. We're a third generation CNC machine shop in Hudson, Massachusetts. I've been fortunate enough to work with my brother and father for the past 30 years, and we've grown this business into a high mix, low volume production shop that does intricate and complex parts for a variety of industries. Seven years ago when we moved into this building, we decided let's try to get a larger machine and we looked at all the options Haas had and we decided to go with a VF11 for a few reasons. One, it had 10 feet of travel in the X, which was drastically longer than anything we'd ever had before. It also had the 40 inches in the Y and that allows us to do really large round parts, really large square parts, and even some really long parts. And so it opened up the opportunity for us to get work we never ever would have tried to get before. Since then, we've bought a second Haas VF11, a Haas VF9, and a VF6, all which give us incredible flexibility and the ability to do large parts that we never would have thought on taking on before. One interesting part we did on the Haas VF11 was using the HRT 210 indexer, and it was about a 50 inch long round piece that needed to have holes clocked on both ends to each other. And without the Haas VF11 because of the length and the HRT 210 because of the um, rotation ability, we would not have been able to make that part. On the VF9, we've, we've been making these very large half round parts, and they go together to form a seal on a, on a shaft for, the, I believe, the Navy. We have smaller ones that we're running on the Haas VF6, and we even have smaller ones we ran on the VF4 at times. The Haas VF9 being so large allows us to machine the entire part in one setup, which gives us the ability to control the true position of all the holes. There's also really high flatness tolerances and true position of the end work, and so the tall Z travel in the Haas is also allows us to stand the part up and do the end work, where if we didn't have that ability to do that, we'd have to use a right angle head and it would be done in two setups and we would not be able to hold the accuracy that we can by doing it in one setup in the VF9. We had this large aluminum hog out that had a, a lot of milling that had to be taken out of the middle of it. So we used a program called Volume Mill, which allows you to do super high feed rates with large cutters. We were using a one inch solid carbide end mill, taking about 60% with a cut, and we were running it right at the top of the uh, abilities of the Haas. When we moved that exact same part to a different machine, the machine should have been able to handle it, but it wound up stalling the machine out, and the only way to get it to work on that machine was to run it at 75% of what the Haas was able to do. So being a third generation machine shop, we're always looking for new things to do. Uh, when my grandfather started the business, it was with a Bridgeport and a Warren Swayze lathe. Uh, over the years, we've added CNC machines, starting with small ones to larger ones. With Haas, we've realized we can grow and do different things. The VF11 is a great example of a machine much larger than I ever thought would ever be able to get. Looking towards the future, I can see us growing looking into five axis machines. That coupled with horizontals and bridge mills, we feel that Haas is leading us into the future and gives us the opportunity to grow in ways we never thought possible.